I'm on my way to Tarpon Springs. Now Tarpon Springs is a little bit south of where my brother lives. They're known for their sponges. They have this place called the Sponge Dock. And there's boats that go out there and they have sponge divers and they go and get sponges. It might be the biggest sponge diving place in the world, but I don't know. I was told that there's a place down there by the sponge docks where I can actually play guitar, put a tip jar out, maybe make some money. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm looking forward to trying it out. I don't know. We'll see. On my way. This is the street where the sponge docks are. I'm going to try to park in this pay and park place right over here. My van is parked in the parking space where I stayed the night before in this parking lot in Tarpon Springs. I met the owner of this lot the first day I was here and she told me that I could stay overnight. Although this isn't the actual space, this is a parking lot where the firework went off underneath my van. Something worth mentioning, this street was founded and developed by a Greek population. They turned this into a prosperous economic and business area. It still thrives today as can be seen by all the businesses and tourists that line the street. At the time that I came here, I would have never guessed that I would have made Tarpon Springs my home for the next two months. The Ancloke River parallels Dodecanese Boulevard. It provides access to the Gulf of Mexico so that the sponge boats and the fishermen can make their livings. Tourists have the choice of a few different sponge and dolphin tour boat rides that they can take. I'm walking down Main Street here. It's early in the morning, so it's kind of dead right now. A lot of Greek places I find here. See this place, Yanni's? I'll zoom in. When I first got to Dodecanese Boulevard, I didn't know anyone, so I started playing on the street for tips. This only lasted about a week. Then I started playing at places like Yanni's. I played there five times. I played at Wine at the Docks. And then I played at the Sponge Exchange, which is the really good place to play. This street became my home and my way of life. I enjoyed my time in Tarpon Springs. Another Greek place. Everything is Greek here. The so streets are a little busy. Nothing over $10. There you go. $3 all day parking, $1 all day. Go figure that one. Another Greek restaurant. So what we got here is lots of sponges. SpongeBob. Yeah. I guess they make handmade soap here. Pretty good. Dreams of Cuba coffee and wine. We're in the sponge docks. Some of the boats may be gone because all these slips were filled yesterday. It's a pretty big boat. There's one for sale. Anybody want to take up sponge diving? There you go, man. Right there. There's your starter boat. Here's some more sponge boats. Anastasi, now he's a Greek guy and he told me that he gets hundreds of sponges a day when he goes out. Now wasn't Lewis talking about alligator bobs? Alligator bobs. There you go, Lewis. Now I'm actually thinking of doing this. They have actual person at sponge dives and get you some sponges. They probably plant those sponges. Nah, I'm just kidding.